Senkulu wechitongo lechivuna njizwa kungudo chinu na ali ni kajina asisinka nyeba na mateko kufama mawanga agenja ulomu Afrika. Mwachibina achi hawechiba gata chi AB and David Afrika. Ngesisinka neno. E indi dekushira toni otero wano mkampala. E nsisinka neno e gendele duwa mkulaba anga wabela o. E nkwatagana wakati wa government na haba ntuba abuli jo. Na dalangiri kopi yeko la gamba ngo kuzimbe ngudo nebi lala. Ali ni kajina yonge do kutangaza kunsisinka neno. Conference so that the meeting was all about uh, PPPs and the options of funding uh, infrastructural projects without necessarily uh, resorting to debt and exploring the different options and within the meeting were representatives of different countries. Kajina ategezi zebi ntunge ngude mbisa kone migote kwa jebi duka mugwanga bebi mkubirete de gwanga okuseleba mbie mfuna kalenga bebi mkubirete duwa kwenye sira okulaba angabisu mosibwa. The option of the old and table road showed that Ugandans wanted this um, a hassle free transit from Kampala to Entebbe. We anticipate it will be the same <coughs> with Kampala Ginger. Currently, Kampala Ginger Road is uh, one of the things that is affecting our economy because you can easily spend four hours. And remember, this is the main artery. You have all transit cargo, all inland cargo stuck within this uh, 71 kilometers. Oh, na genze maso na ategeza antibageze zako ukulaba angabano gere dagala omugeto kogwebi duka mchibuga Kampala na dala kulugudo lwa Antebe Rodi. On the question of Antebe Express, when we did our traffic studies in 20, I think it was 2012, 2013, we did the traffic studies, um, it was clear that this was a very viable um, uh, project. But when we opened... Um, in January of 2022, uh, the traffic volume outstripped our projections. Um, so whereas I think we had projected 13,000 vehicles per day, on day one we were 16,000 vehicles per day. Kajina atanga aziza kunteka teka zoku zimbo lugudo luaka mpala jinja flyover, ntizigenda maso. We've been doing um, compensations in, in, in volumes or in sections. And we shall we'll begin with the southern bypass. Southern bypass is off Munyonyo Spa. You know where Munyonyo Spa is? That and um, Kampala to Namataba, I think, is phase one. So that's how we'll begin. And phase two will be Namataba to Jinja. Um, so we are buying land in those phases. We have not finished. Um, we have uh, encountered some, some few land disputes. We encountered settlements like in, in Kasokoso, which is a little bit complicated because of ownership of land and people who have settled there for years. But those are things we've been discussing and, and, and with the leaders in the area and resolving. So by the time we get um, the developer, there will be enough land for them to start work. Yes. Jimu Mugunga nga ya kulide chibina echa public private partnership unit mu ministry ya bie nsimbi Ategezi santi omulimo guwabe kulaba nga balo ondola nsimbi ya zewole dwe guanga O kulaba nga dalaziko levyo bezi sanyo kukoze sebwa Maybe it's not about using um, borrowed money initially It's actually private sector money so the reason you apply PPP is because you want to tap into resources that the private sector have. And um, what happens is you, you contract the private sector to deliver an infrastructure. They deliver it now and you defer payment. And then uh, you're able to even spread the payment. In other words, if a road, for example, Kampala Ginger, is going to be constructed within uh, two years from now. Tony Mayanja, ya kusaki degulia lino. Kula Delta TV, ama sukurumu.